Hi, welcome to this week's video. We are all at this moment in time missing our golf dreadfully. I'm just going to give you a couple of thoughts regarding the grip. This is something we can practice at home. We can pick up a club, check our hands are placed on the golf club in a, in a way that allows us to control the club face. When we get back to playing golf again, this I'm sure will put us in good stead for us to restart at our best. Let's talk a little bit about the hands. There is not one way of holding the golf club, there are several. As long as the hands are brought together in a cooperative way, then we have the best chance of having a repeatable and consistent golf swing. Some players choose to overlap the grip. Some players interlock. There is no right and wrong. What I would suggest is that the palms though, however, are pointing to each other. This gives us a cooperative, a cooperative grip and a chance of success. Allow your hands and arms to fall at their side. This generally tells us where the palms need to be placed on the handle. If the right hand, the lower hand in my case, is a little on the underneath side, this is generally a hooker's grip. This could cause the club to turn more to the left. You can see my right hand now is pointing in a natural position. When it returns at impact, the club face now pointing to the left, the ball is likely to go there. If conversely, the left hand is off the, to the side, again, this returns leaving the club face open, causing me to slice the shot. If my palms are pointing to each other, I've got a good chance of having control over my club face, see that golf shot going straight. Pick up a club, send me your pictures at home, let's have a look at the grip. It's a good start for us before we get back on the course. Hope to see you all soon.